Hey everybody, so this video is officially our start to Unit 4, uh, which is all about percents and scaling, um, which is a really exciting unit. And we're actually just going to start with this first lesson, which is just a review of converting between fractions, decimals, and percentages, uh, which you have definitely seen before. So this should mostly be a review for you, um, but I think it's going to be a good start for us as we dive into Unit 4. So. Obviously, you found your way to the video, which is great. Good job with that. Um, you should just have your paper with you um, on your desk. So as you watch the video, make sure um, you're answering the questions and following along as you go so that you're ready to um, have your completed notes um, when you go to start your classwork in a few minutes. So for our little first exercise here, they give us um, three fractions all over 100. The numerators are different. And they want us to kind of create a visual to represent these. So if we zoom into the first one, so 30 over 100. So they want us to take that fraction and fill in the correct amount of um, boxes on this grid. So if we could do a quick count, along the left side, there are 10 rows of boxes. And along the top, there are 10 columns. So that just tells us that we have 100 total boxes in this grid. So good. They want us to fill in 30 of them. Think about getting like a 30% on a test, right? You got 30 out of 100 points. So obviously the easiest way to do this is just go fill in three rows of 10. And that would be our 30. You could do that horizontally. You could do that vertically if you wanted to, going all the way up and down the first three rows. Or you could really just pick any like let's do 10 here, 10 here, and 10 here, right? It's a little more random, but that totally works. So that was 30 over 100. Let's take a look at three over 100. Well, again, 100 boxes, we just need to fill in three of them. These can be anywhere you want. Maybe we'll do this just to have a little fun. So there's three over 100, and then following the pattern, the final one is one third over 100. So we just need to pick any one of these boxes and shade it a third of the way as best you can. Okay. So again, the point of this was for you to compare those three fractions, which are very similar, except the numerators are different, and just kind of look at how the visual um, is related to those, those three fractions. So like I said, we're talking a lot about percents in this video. A percent is any amount that is out of 100. Oh, wow. All three of those fractions that we were just dealing with up top were all percents, right? They were shown to us as fractions, but in a minute, we're going to see how we can take those three fractions and switch them into percents. And the symbol for percent You've definitely seen this before. Um, it's just like the two little circles with a, um, a diagonal line in between it. Okay, so as we do our conversions today, this little um, cheat sheet graphic organizer type of thing is going to be really useful for you. Um, so make sure you're looking back to this, and we're going to dive in um, with our first row on this table. So they give us a fraction, one-fourth, and they want us to find its decimal and percentage forms. So I'm going to find fraction on our organizer. We want to switch it into a decimal first. So that tells us we need to take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. Numerator is 1. Denominator is 4. So if we punch that into our calculator, that should give us 0 0.25. Again, that is the same exact value. It's the same number, just in a different form. And then if we want to take a decimal, so green, and get it to be a percentage, we just have to multiply that decimal by 100. So 0 0.25 times 100 will give you 25. And of course, we said we want to include the percentage symbol, which looks like that. Awesome. So what if they give us the decimal form to start instead? So, um, Hey, really, you can go in any order that you want. Um, from a decimal, I think we're going to go, let's find its percentage first. 
So you take it, times it by 100, which, if you want to know a little trick, right, you can punch this decimal in and multiply by 100. But really, all you're doing is taking this um, decimal point and moving it two spaces to the right. So that's going to give us um, 50%. 50%. Okay, because um, you would add another zero here. All right, so we have its percentage form, and now we just have to figure it out um, as a fraction. So to get from percentage to fraction, we have to put the percent, so 50, over 100, and then they want us to simplify it. All right, so if we start with 50 over 100, well, I see we can get rid of one pair of zeros, and that gives us 5 over 10, which can re be reduced even more to be 1 half. And that is the simplest fraction form for that. All right, we have one more. Um, let's take a look at 20% and see if we can write it in all of the different forms. So they give us the um, percentage first. So let's just take our percent and make that a fraction. So same thing, it's going to be 20 over 100. I see a set of zeros we can cancel out, and that'll give us 2 tenths. And both of those are even numbers, so we can divide them by 2 and get us 1 fifth. Okay, so that is fraction form. And then if we wanted to go from um, percent to decimal, we have to divide by 100. So you could do that, or like I said, it's just a matter of moving the decimal point. So let's go, instead of forward two decimal places, let's go back two. So this would give us 0 0.2 as our decimal form. All right, so what we're going to do is have you pause the video and see if you can fill in the rest of these spots. We're going to have a couple questions in here to see how you're doing with this, and then we'll get the full check in a minute. All right, so our first question is going to be the decimal form of one-third. So let's see how you did with that. Okay, so if you did 1 divided by 3, that should give you a decimal of 0 0.333 and so on, right? That's a repeating decimal. So that's good. Um, and then, of course, we could take that as a percentage and just get that as 33.3 .3 repeating percent. Awesome. All right, let's do a second question. Let's see if you could write 0 0.05 as a percent. Okay, so again, you could multiply by 100 or just move the decimal place to, or decimal point two places. So this would give us 5%. So if you got that one, that's awesome. 5% um, as a fraction is 5 over 100, which would be the same thing as 1 over 20 would be the simplest form. All right, so let's give it another pause. You can check the rest of your answers from this table in a minute, um, and then we'll move on to our final example. All right, you can do a quick check of the remainder of our table. Um, if we take 3 eighths, I think that's where we left off, 3 eighths becomes this as your decimal. Move the decimal place 2 over to get your percentage. Um, the only two rows that are a little bit weird are the last two. So if they give you 1.3 as your decimal, that really is 130%. Um, and then as a fraction, you would just write 130 over 100. And that, of course, can be reduced to 13 over 10, or 1 and 3 tenths. Right? The improper fraction is fine, though. And then for the final one, they give you a percentage, but it's a, it's a 1 half of a percent. Um, so that would be like in our, sh in our grid up above. That would be like one half over a hundred. Um, so if you do that as a decimal, it's 0 0.005. And as a fraction, we would take the percentage, so one half over a hundred. But because the, and that's technically okay, but as a fraction, um, tech, what I would do is multiply it by two so that you can get all whole numbers. So that could be one over 200. But don't worry about that too much. Um, the last part is just to see what you can do with some mental math. So if they said 50% of 20 is blank, what I think is, well, 50% really is one half. So 
what's half of 20? Well, that's 10, right? What's 10% of 125? Well, that's like one tenth of 125. Or 125 divided into 10 pieces. That would give us 12.5, right? So it's kind of interesting to think about. We'll have you try this one. So let's see if you can think, what is 25% of 48? Okay, so 25% I think of as one fourth. One fourth or 48 divided by four is gonna give us a 12 for that one. All right, thinking about it a little bit differently, six is 50% of what number? Well, 50% I think of as a half. So six is a half of what number? Well, that's also 12, right? Okay. Um, and let's have you try this one. 10 is 25% of what number? Okay, I think of 25% as one fourth. 10 is a fourth or a quarter of 40. All right, and we have three more to think about, just a little bit different. 21 is what percent of 210? So I think, well, I can fit 10 21s into 210. So that's a 10%. We'll do this one as our last one together. 20 is what percent of 80? You could also think about it as 20 over 80. If we do that and divide, just like we're used to, that's going to give us 0 0.25 as a decimal times 100 to give us as our, fra our percentage. So that is 25%. So 20 is 25% or a quarter of 80. And then to wrap things up today, let's have you finish this one off. 450 is what percent of 900? Okay, so if we do our 450 divided by 900, our decimal is 0 0.5 as a um, percentage though, that's 50%. So 450 is half of 900, which makes sense. All right, so that was just a little mental math exercise at the end. So good job if you got some of those. But like I said, the main skill is going to be something like this table. So I hope this video helped you as a little refresher from last year. Um, what we're going to do is have you flip this page over, try the classwork, and then we're going to have you turn that in when you finish. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this was a good review and good luck today.